Welcome back, everybody, to the channel! Welcome back. New viewers, new subscribers, old viewers and old subscribers. Now, before we get going, I just want to explain a few things about this series. Uh, it's going to be a little bit different to how all the others have been. So, first and foremost, I want to say a massive thank you to Mike's Life for actually supplying me with a game and buying me the game, essentially. So, uh, thank you, Mike, for that, man. You, you the man. You the man. So, I'm going to be playing through it um, all in your name. Uh, I also want to say that uh, you're a fucking arsehole. <laughs> I a horror game, again. So, we're just going to kind of see how it goes. I think everything else is all good. Um, secondly, uh, the second thing I want to mention is the guys that have been following me on Twitter, you all know who you are. Uh, you, you know that I've been a bit ill recently and um, it's put my recording schedule a bit out. So, if the videos don't upload as consistently as they as you're all used to then I'm really really sorry um, but I'll always uh, notify you guys via Twitter or on my blog page which I've just set up as well so I'll leave a link to those in the description down below um, but without further ado it's time to pray for our lives oh my controller's not on hang on Let's try again pray for our lives okay so new game Oh, we can have three slots. That's that's pretty interesting. Uh, easily. Survival won't be a problem for you. Probably. Normal. Use your wits, weapons, and abilities to survive. Your wits are the only thing that... My wits are not really there. And you know what? Nightmare. Fuck Nightmare. I want to go normal because I like to have a game that's... Hey, you guys are a bit weird looking. I like to have a game that's not too hard, but I like a little bit of a challenge. Um, so I just usually play on normal just, just because I like to enjoy the games rather than just get super frustrated. I'm sure we're still gonna... Oh, we're choosing a character. Oh! Uh, whoa! Whoa, what's going on with that eyes? Now, I mean, I only choose a male. Partly because um, it's like the standardized thinking when you play games is you choose a guy when you're a guy. But, uh, maybe we'll go for the girl. You know what, we'll stick with the guy. Um, because I don't want to assume my gender to be wrong. Oh, now entering your apartment. That's a nice hat. What is that, Night Vision 2.0? Man, that's cool. You wake up in your apartment in the year 2032. Why, why is it always like 2032 or 2025? It's always like somewhere in the first third of the 20s. I don't understand. Like, I, I feel like there's going to be a lot of future tech in this game that... Christ. Loading screen was done and then we just got pushed over to another loading screen. You needed to load the load screen for the load screen? What the fuck, game? This is not a good start. This is not a good start. Press X. Okay, let's do it. Let's go. So, for Good all morning, intensive Morgan. purposes, Today I probably Monday, will March shit myself 15th, during this let's play. March 15th, 2032. Wow, some synth kind of music. Oh, we're naked! Let's, uh... Is that a graphics card? No. I mean, it looks fairly nice so far. So what have we got to do here? Incoming call. Somebody's hey, calling me already. Morgan, wake up. You're burning daylight. <laughs> you sent the helicopter to pick you up. It's just a few tests. Don't forget to wear your suit. Right, I. See you soon. Oh, listen. I, uh, really great you decided to come on board. We're gonna shake things up, Morgan. Like old times. Right. First day on the job. You gotta shake things up. The door's jammed. What if I wanted to commit suicide? What if I just wanted to jump and die? Put on your Transtar uniform. So, we're starting off with some uh, <laughs> pretty easy uh, stuff. Uh, hands on a... Let me know. Do you want me to read these out or do you want me to just kind of pause the video? Or, or how do you want me to take the notes in this game? Because there's always a 50-50 split between people that like me to read it out and people that just like me to power through them. So, uh, let me know in the comment section down below. What do you want me to do with these uh, notes? And uh, we'll, we'll play it that way, I guess. Excerpt. From the preface to hands on electronics by Antoinette Sokol. Bloody every time there's a horror game, there's people have stupid names. Why do you have stupid names, people? 
By working through a series of practical experiments, this humble manual will introduce you to the fundamentals of modern analog and digital electronics. By the end, you will be able to construct any simple circuit. As Thomas Edison once said, to invent, you need a good imagination and a pile of junk. Oh, okay. Uh, so we can climb on things. He's got a bottle of wine next to his computer screen. Um, yep, locked. Do we know our password? Use object. Oh, what's this? Pizza! Pizza! Oh, can we just destroy the place? No, frayed wire. What is this? Is this a bomb? Let's put it back down gently. Oh, yep, nice and gently. <laughs> Burnt circuit board. Uh, take that. Take the, the plastic thing. Uh, I don't quite understand. I mean, we're, are we going to have to build something at some point? Neuromad application instructions. Warning. Neuromod. Oh, neuromods. Neuromods should only be administered by certified Transtar technicians under controlled conditions. Subject may experience slight discomfort, swelling, or redness of the eye shortly afterward. Number one. Remove neuromod from vacuum sealed container. Press rubberized eye cup firmly against bony orbit of eye socket. Keep eye open. To press orange release trigger and continue to hold Neuromod against the eye for five minutes. Dispose of used Neuromod in provided by... So you've got to like, do this for five minutes. Oh no, you got to hold, uh, hold your eye open with your finger, ah, uh, finger on your eyeball for five, screw that. I just, I, I like to explore the start of like the first room of, of new games just to kind of get an idea of how everything works and how what console do you have what console is that is that the xbox 762 3 i don't know where, where is this console here it is wow is that the cast of um queen from that <laughs> oh that's that that guy right where my hand is we're stroking his face uh, that's the guy that's speaking to us wasn't it um i didn't catch his name an account of fermi's question is this something that i should know about Okay, so there's a lot of... Ooh, what is that? Carry... <laughs> oh, oh the, the couch is too heavy. We we need a leverage level of three to be able to carry the couch. Why would you want to carry the couch? Can we get the cushions? Oh! <laughs> I just got to tidy up my room. I got to put my... Pe no, wait. Is that a hidden door? I don't want to wear the daddy sweaters. To the kitchen! cabinet. Yeah, sun-dried tomato jerky. <laughs> we got eat today. Kings of way sparkling wine. Let's drink some of that. Holy crap. Are we drunk? It's all good. We all need a bottle of wine before starting the morning. Congrats, Morgan. Alex, thanks. Thanks, Alex, for congratulating me on... What do we do? Why do we need congratulating? We've got a slow cooker... That can go over there. Oh, shite. I'm, oh, my cup. Oh, it's okay. It's okay. The cup the cup is fine. Uh, why would you carry the refrigerator? Why would you... Why would you need to carry the goddamn refrigerator? Is there something behind it? This makes no sense. Hey, little fishes. Where are you? No, it's just not fish. It's a little garden in the house. All right, let's put the goddamn... Oh, pizza. Let's put the goddamn suit on. Yeah. Success! Get it! Success! Now what? Nice gloves. Get in the hella. All right. <laughs> uh, okay. So, um, so we got the suit on. Now we've got to go to a helicopter that's just, just, just on the roof. You know, um, that's that's everybody has. Oh, hey, everybody has a helicopter on the roof just for fun. Do you have a fishy? Oh, look, climb. Look at that fish! I mean, this is this is a really weird graphical style here because it looks really nice, but when you get really close to things, you start to see that it's not actually as detailed as you. you think it is. Hello, Mrs. Person with a hat, fixing things. Patricia Farmer. Heard there's a chopper on the roof. Must be for you. What fucking accent is that? <laughs> Heard there's a chopper on the roof. You'll have to take the elevator. Oh. Oh, maybe I want to take the fucking stairs. Down the hall. But you know that. How about yes. we take that? Throw it over there. Fetch! Bitch! How about that? Can we pick her up? Aren't you going to be <laughs> no. late? 
Uh, yeah, but how can you actually still see what's going on in there with no light? I think, uh, I don't think she's actually doing any work. I think she's pretending. <laughs> all right, all right, chill out. Extra jump, L3 to sprint, circle to crouch. It's like, oh yeah, I bet everybody tried that. How long can we, okay. So we have a meter, stamina meter, open door, that's locked. Um, let's use the elevator. Uh, uh, I'm just going to guess that we're going to go into this elevator. Something fucked up's going to happen. I don't actually see us making it to the roof. But I could be wrong. I've been wrong before. This is a big building. Waiting for it to fall apart. Oh! No fucking way. I didn't expect for that to actually be a thing. I thought we were totally going to um, die or something and have, have like a bionic body implanted into our face. Helicopter! Whoa, man. That's a nice, nice helicopter. So we're on the Echelon building. The Oh, the residential. I was going to say presidential. It's the residential tower. Residential tower for what? May I ask? Wow, I'm getting a kind of Mirror's Edge vibe from all this right now. Let's go over. Let's jump into the helicopter. Whoop! Oh! <laughs> Don't... <laughs> Don't jump into the helicopter blades. They would decapitate you. Oh, shit. Hey, oh, not again! Up. Shut up! Can we take the cup with us? Morning, Mr. Yu. Hey, Miss... Miss, I forgot your name. Take him a cup with me. <laughs> I'm ready for anybody with a cup attack. Cup attack! <gasps> My cup! Back to the helicopter. Now don't jump in the blades. That's a bad idea. Just walk it carefully and gently. Seems like, um... I mean, of course you get killed by helicopter blades. Man, this is nice. So what kind of situation do we have ourselves in here? Mr. Yu, please yep. make yourself comfortable and we'll be on our way. Okay. Transtar facility is just a short hop. 78 degrees. Oh, it's the intro to the game. The That's fucking cool. Damn. Look at them mountains. Look at them birdies. Somebody's written on the bridge. That's a nice view on the bay there. Yes, it is. An Arkham Studios presentation. Oh, production. God damn, this is so cool. We're not looking for cool stuff. We know we're going to get scared or crash. Something bad is going to happen. The world's going to get taken over by zombies aliens I actually don't know what this game is about at all <laughs> not a single clue apart from the fact that it's a horror game and we need to pray Pray. yeah um, so so far we've ascertained we've got like uh, neurological modifications to our body We've got a new job and we got dressed. Oh, and we no longer have a gold cup because we, we smashed it. Alright. Thank Mind you. The glass on the way out. Good luck to you. Mind the glass on the way out. Are you trying to take the piss? Because I smashed my what glass? Alright, let's uh let us enter the Transtar building. Anybody? Oh my god. Oh, 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 I thought that was somebody hanging upside down. It's a robot. Hey, Mr. Robot. Ooh, you've got a sexy voice. I'm a Sybil 495 science class operator. Very nice. Very nice. I like the way your bull rolls off the bottom of your body. Transtar has over a dozen state-of-the-art facilities across the globe. More, if you count the entire Earth-Moon system. Okay, so you're going to tell me what to do, or are you just going to stand there like a fool? <laughs> you have no legs. 
Uh, anything behind here? No, I guess we just, uh, can I go for this? No, we have to go, we have to go into this welcome, one. Welcome, Morgan Yu. Oh, welcome. You have a 9 a.m. appointment in the testing facility. Please confirm. Testing facility. Testing facility. So, is this what the game is? Are we do are we being put through a series of tests? Don't tell Glados this Morgan. is here. Oh, it's the fat Finally. guy. Hey, what's up, Freddy? Hey, you don't look terrible in a transfer uniform. You How do. do I? Still red. I know the test might seem a little unconventional, but it's a new family tradition. Breaking convention is in our blood. Once you start the test, just do whatever comes natural. Well, if I need Don't to poop. overthink it. Dr. Bellamy's going to walk you through the process. You're in good hands. All right. We'll be in orbit next week. I promise. Mr. Yu, they're ready for your brother in room A. Right. Listen, oh, he's my brother? Just be yourself. I'll see you after. All right, mate. All right. Cheers, bro. Can we go in here? I want to speak to that guy. Hey. Dr. Yu. Yo. Okay. All right. Just say my name. Say my name. Say my name. Testing rooms. Oh, this looks a bit ominous. A. Test room. A. A. Let's press the button. No? Hey, guys. Good morning, Morgan. What's up? I'm Dr. Bellamy. Looks like we have some tests to run through today. Probably not the kind of thing you're used to, I imagine, but trust me, you're going to do fantastic. All good? Great. Let's begin. For this first test, I'd like you to remove the boxes from the red circle as quickly as you can. Just go with your gut. Okay? Wonderful. Press the red button when you're ready. Ah! Okay. <laughs> Wonderful. That's yeah. Uh, you're absolutely fine. Uh, let's move on to room B then. Why is that a test? Why is that a test? I'm gonna take the box with me. Breaking the rules, Brett. Breaking the rules. Okay, Morgan. Listen carefully. Oh. I'd like you to do your best to hide in this room. Take your time. Relax. Think it over. What? No, I'm kidding. You only have oh. nine seconds. What? Hit the red button when you're ready to start. Hide? Hide from what? From that? Well. Whenever you're ready, Morgan. You just do that, clearly, wouldn't we? Uh. Well, maybe. Actually. Let's pick this up. No. Let's put this down. Let's uh, press the button. Pick that up. Put that in front like that. You can't see me. The camera can't see me, surely. Surely. Surely not. Hmm. Uh, any synaptic register at all? No? No, that's fine. Sorry, let's keep things moving, Morgan. Head into room C. You're doing marvelous. <laughs> okay. <laughs> How, what, oh, is that my points? Do I have zero points? Oh, no. Okay, what's next? All right. Here we go. For this right. test, please press the blue button across the room as quickly as you can in the most natural, intuitive way possible, without thinking. Just, just go for it. Okay. Press the red button when you're ready. 360! I'm sorry, can someone please explain to me what's happening? <laughs> Simmons? You got 360 no scopes, bitch! Down. Did you double check? Speaker's still on. <gasps> oh, hey. I apologize, Morgan. We're having some trouble with the equipment. Not your fault. You're doing fabulous, actually. One last room. Let's step into D. Six. We got a six. What's the six for? I don't understand. 
Hey. Do I... Can someone get me a cup of coffee? I would appreciate it. Thank you. You got one there! Okay, Morgan. Have a seat at the table for me, please. Okay. Wonderful job. Take a look at the screen in front of you. I'm going to show you a series of questions. Pick the answer that makes the most sense to you. All right. Okay. Press start on the screen when you're ready. Oh, it's like one of these little flash games. Start. Uh, O square. Okay. You're planning a vacation. Oh. What's your problem? What's your problem? You're getting paid to do this. Your plan. Oh. Can you shut the fuck up while I do my quiz, please? You're planning a vacation. Go somewhere familiar. You know all you love. Or try something new. I mean, this, something new is always nice for a vacation. Good. Looks like you've got the hang of it. Yeah. Keep going. You've been sentenced to death for your actions. How does this make you feel? I mean, this this seems a little bit extreme for, for a test. Afraid, and I don't know what will happen. Angry. No one has that right. Calm. It was worth it. It's always worth it. Always. Ooh, that's heavy stuff. Yes, it is. A runaway train is bearing down on five people who are tied to the track. You can cause the train to switch tracks, but there is one person tied to the second track. Uh, so, so we've got to choose whether to kill five people or one person. Uh, a runaway train is bearing down on five people who are tied to the track. You can cause you know, one person tied to the second track. I mean, to be honest, most people would switch the track because... It's clearly the best way to save the most lives. But at the same time, you don't really... I mean, you would instinctively switch tracks because you know that you could save more lives. Good. Next. A runaway train is bearing down on five people. You're standing on the platform next to an enormously fat man. Pushing him into the track would stop the train. <laughs> But that's that's the same question, just with an actionable cause from you rather than like you're you're creating the death rather than choosing the death. I mean, you wouldn't really push the. F I mean, you wouldn't you wouldn't be like, oh, that fat man's gonna stop the train. <laughs> let's let's push him <laughs> into the track. No, I don't think you wouldn't do it, would you? You you just you wouldn't do it. Almost done. A runaway train is bearing down on five people to the same question. You could stop the train by jumping onto the track, but you would die. Jump on the tracks, push the fat man. <laughs> or do nothing. Fuck that man, I ain't dying. Interesting. Yes, it is. Well done. Well done. We're nearly through it. For this next part, I'm going to display an image. I want you to take a good look at it. In right a eh? moment, I'm going to ask you what... Uh, what? It's empty. <laughs> oh! The fuck is that? Ho! 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 Oh God! Coffee just turned into a monster. But I love coffee! Alex. Simmons, what's going on? We have a problem. What about Morgan? He's alive. Sedated. Clean it up. I'm on my way. Got it. Well. That was a thing that happened. Good morning, Morgan. Today is Monday, March 15th, 2032. What? Was we not supposed to die? Hold the phone! Something's changed. Something's different. It's the same day! 
It's still the same day. We died and come back here. I'm not entirely sure. But there's, we could access the computer. We don't know. Oh, okay. There's, there's our password. So we could enter the computer. I think we'll do that at the beginning of the next episode. Uh, we'll look at the computer, then we'll try and figure out what the fuck is actually even going on. Okay. This looks like it could shape up to be a real good game. Oh, there's the toilet. Well, as always, everybody, thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to drop a big fat like down below. Subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment to let me know how the series is going. Are you enjoying it so far? Oh, uh, my uh, wires are back for some reason. Maybe we did actually die. I don't fucking know. I will see you in the next video. Bye.